What's going on, guys? It's uh, September 2nd already. It's 2017, and uh, I have some great news and some bad news. So I like to get to the bad news first. Uh, the bad news is Bitcoin debit cards have halted service for non-European residents due to Visa's new rule. So Visa cards outside of Europe uh, are going to end service by October 15th. So if you have a BitPay card or any of the other cards, um, you will not be able to use them and they will be canceled. And that's it. Basically, Visa has decided to not... Uh, I'm trying to think of the word. Well, they won't support... The Visa network will not support Bitcoin purchases outside of Europe. So the reasoning for that, I'm not sure. It seems kind of dubious, but that's what they've chosen to do. And so a lot of you people who have been paying for groceries, gas, uh, buying some consumer goods with your cards, you will no longer be able to do that. And that's unfortunate, but like I said, it is what it is, and the free market will adapt and provide a solution. I have great news for you. The free market already has provided a solution, and that solution is WageCan.com. Now, WageCan is a few years old now. Actually, they've been around 2014, so it's been around for three years. Um, they support Bitcoin, and you can use it as a debit card or anywhere debit cards are or credit cards are accepted. They do not use the um, the Visa or Mastercard or Amex network. They very are very similar to. If you have a uh, one of the credit cards where you have to deposit money, I think they use one of those banks. Um, the secure cards, right? That's what you call them, secure cards. When your credit is bad and you have to make a deposit of like two hundred dollars, and then you can only borrow money against that initial uh, two hundred dollar deposit. It's very similar to that. So you can only borrow. Um, or use what you have in your Bitcoin account on your debit on your debit card. So um, the referral link I'm going to put in the description, and I'm going to tell you exactly what you have to do to sign up and how you should sign up. First of all, use my link to sign up because it's a hundred and sixty-two dollar fee to sign up. For this card if you sign up under my link you get a discount so it will not be 162 dollars it has a chip in it it's chips through via dhl because it comes from taiwan uh, maximum card balance for a level two card which is what you're going to be getting as a, a an american or um, a verified account Uh, so you have 13,000 maximum card balance. 2.5% withdrawal fee. ATM transactions, so you're allowed to take $1,000 out of the ATM at most. Now, if you have, if you live in the U.S., um, you're going to have to upload a driver's license, a picture of your holding the driver's license to verify your identity and so that you are uh, not some you know person that's just basically going to use this as a, a scam card or you're using a fake ID to hide money or use it for illicit activities so you have to upload 
your license and a picture of you holding the license to verify. Purchase transaction fee uh, is free. Card replacement $51. Expired card renewal free. They will send you a new card when it runs out. So first you order the card. And like I said, you get a discount when you sign up under me. Fill out the customer form. Upload photo ID and utility bill scan. Proof of uh, residence. And then you top up the card. So it's a prepaid card, like I said, very much in the same vein as a secure credit card. But uh, that's basically it. And this is the only game in town right now, so... Um, until MasterCard or some other company comes out with a card, this is the only Bitcoin card that is available. Wagecan.com. This is it, the only game in town. So, uh, unfortunately for you know people who love BitPay, I had BitPay myself. I loved it, uh, but it is what it is, and you just have to adapt to roll with the punches with this crypto stuff. So. Um, that's my video for right now, guys. Take care. Have a great weekend.